January 13th, 2017. This is the influence to the Lyman Water Treatment Plant coming into stage one flocculation. Stage two flocculation. You can see the chemical dosing occurring directly into these stages. Comes into a serpentine flow into stage three. They have a scum pipe to take any floatables out of here, floating solids, creating a very high quality flock particle. Then from there we go into a quiescent zone. You can see the flock particles. And then up through our plate settlers. Just talk to the operator. They are achieving typically 0.5 to 0.8 NTU. You mentioned they can typically do better than that if they add more chemical, but they don't need to with their membranes. They have all membranes in this building. Each basin here is designed for 4 MGD, so a total of 8 MGD right now. Uh, this is an identical basin, has our flocculators, uh, but this, this side in the said basin has plate settlers. Here you can see the difference between a 2 inch plate spacing and what calls their 2 inch plate spacing. So basically they didn't have enough distance to cover the support beams properly. Uh, the operator just took two samples out of the system. Uh, two, actually, I'm going to just turn around here. He took two samples out of the effluent troughs of both plate settlers. Both were within basically the, the percent error of the instrument that they were providing. So they're pro both systems, both plants are producing you know, virtually equivalent uh, NTU. But one thing I'm looking at here, when you look at the flow and the depth of the flow in the troughs, our system looks to be, you can kind of tell by the V-notch weirs, we are probably running at four to four and a half MGD. The system is probably running at three to three and a half MGD. And still, even with ours getting more flow, we are achieving the same effluent quality as the system. And I'm gonna to walk to the front here, and this is where you can see where the water is split. So basically they just have a weir edge. This is the side. Just look at the flow level and velocity coming over that. This is, this is the JMS side. So we have about an MGD more coming through our side of the basin, producing the same effluent quality. So basically, indicating that our system is operating more efficiently than the MRI plate settlers.